What's inflation, and how exactly do we measure it? Number 1, Inflation, a general price increase. Inflation is a general increase in prices that reduces the purchasing power of money. When prices for many goods and services rise simultaneously, it significantly impacts households. Low and stable inflation, often targeted between 2 to 3% per year, is generally seen as beneficial for the economy, unlike high inflation or deflation, negative inflation. Number 2, Tracking a basket of important items. To determine if prices are rising across the whole economy, an aggregate measure of price changes is used, such as the Consumer Price Index, CPI. The CPI measures changes in the price of products important to consumers, weighted by their relative expenditure. Number 3, What the CPI covers. The CPI, calculated quarterly by the Australian Bureau of Statistics, ABS, covers a wide range of categories, including food, housing, transport, health, and financial services. The ABS collects prices electronically and uses expenditure data from the Household Expenditure Survey to weight information from the capital cities and create the index. Number 4, How the CPI is used. The CPI is vital for adjusting welfare payments, negotiating wage increases, and, most critically, determining interest rates. Central banks, like the RBA, use the CPI to guide adjustments to the target cash rate. Increasing this rate raises the cost of borrowing for banks and consumers, which reduces consumer demand and helps to lower inflation. Number 5, Headline versus Underlying Inflation. The reported CPI is headline inflation. Because items prone to supply shocks, like petrol and fruit, can cause volatile price movements, measures of underlying inflation are used to better represent persistent pressures. These statistical measures, like the trimmed mean and weighted median estimates used by the RBA, adjust the headline figure by excluding or minimizing the impact of these volatile items. Number 6, Other Flations. You'll often hear other inflation-related terms. Deflation is negative inflation, falling prices, which can lead to delayed purchases and economic stagnation. Disinflation is when inflation is positive, but the rate of increase is decreasing, for example, from 4% to 3%. Stagflation is the simultaneous existence of stagnant growth, high inflation, and high unemployment, rare, like the 1970s oil crisis. Hyperinflation involves extremely high, rapid annual rates of inflation, rendering money virtually worthless. 